Deeds of Alvin C. York Early Life Alvin C. York was born on December 13, 1887, in Pall Mall, Tennessee, and grew up in a rural and impoverished setting. Religious Conversion York experienced a religious conversion, which profoundly influenced his beliefs and later shaped his actions during World War I. Conscientious Objector Initially, York sought conscientious objector status, citing his religious beliefs. However, he was eventually drafted into the U.S. Army. Training and Deployment Alvin York underwent training and was deployed to the Western Front in France as a part of the 82nd Division. Battle of the Meuse-Argonne, on October 8, 1918, during the Battle of the Meuse-Argonne, York's actions would become legendary. Capture of Machine Gun Nest York's unit was tasked with capturing a German machine gun nest. Despite heavy fire, he led a small group in a successful attack, capturing 132 German soldiers. Single-handed action York's most remarkable feat was single-handedly taking out a machine gun nest, killing several enemy soldiers with well-aimed shots. Leadership under fire York's leadership under fire was crucial in neutralizing the enemy threat and enabling his unit to advance. Prisoners and surrender York and his small group of soldiers escorted the captured German soldiers back to the American lines. He received the German officer's surrender. Medal of Honor For his extraordinary bravery, Alvin C. York was awarded the Medal of Honor the United States' highest military decoration. Legends and Folklore York's deeds became the stuff of legends and folklore, celebrated not only for their military significance but also for embodying the American spirit. Impact on the War York's actions had a significant impact on the Battle of the Meuse-Argonne and contributed to the eventual Allied victory in World War I. Post-war recognition After the war, York returned to a hero's welcome and received numerous accolades, including the Medal of Honor, the Distinguished Service Cross, and the French Croix de Guerre. Life after the war York struggled with the post-war transition but eventually became an advocate for education and improvements in his home region. Founding of Alvin C. York Institute York used his newfound fame to raise funds for educational purposes, leading to the establishment of the Alvin C. York Institute in Tennessee. Books and Films York's story was documented in books and films, further cementing his place in American military history. Religious Beliefs York's religious beliefs continued to guide his life, and he became a prominent figure in religious and civic activities. Veterans Advocate York advocated for better treatment and benefits for veterans, understanding firsthand the challenges they faced after returning from war. Legacy in Tennessee Alvin C. York's legacy is deeply ingrained in Tennessee's history, with monuments, educational institutions, and events honoring his contributions. Cultural Impact York's story has had a lasting impact on American culture, symbolizing bravery, leadership, and the triumph of the individual in the face of adversity. Historical Significance York's deeds are studied in military history courses, offering insights into individual acts of heroism and leadership in wartime. Preservation of Legacy Efforts are ongoing to preserve and promote Alvin C. York's legacy, ensuring that future generations remember his contributions. Depiction in film Gary Cooper portrayed Alvin C. York in the 1941 film, Sergeant York, bringing his story to a broader audience. Recognition in popular culture Alvin C. York's name is synonymous with heroism and sacrifice, making appearances in various forms of popular culture. National Hero Alvin C. York is remembered as a national hero whose deeds continue to inspire generations to come.